welcome back to my channel like voila as you can see by the title I'm going to be doing a deep mask on my hair so basically this process right now is just me taking down my um, my braids and these are the braids I wear my hair straight back when I have my wig but yes in this process I'm just taking down my braids and watching um, YouTube videos So as I'm taking them down, I got close to show you like the little dandruff that's in my hair. And that came from um, me taking off my frontal, it's like the excess glue and things that were left in my hair. So like, yeah, you can see it when I get back close again into the camera. So yeah, like look, it's all in my hair. up together so we're her to taking the braid down okay so here I am just sectioning off my hair before I go in for the wash and the mask that I'm using is called Bella curl coconut oil deep conditioning mask it says to leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes after shampooing. So I'm going to be using Cream of Nature's shampoo, detangling and conditioning shampoo to wash my hair. So I went ahead and washed my hair off of camera. Oh my god, I look terrible. But in just this little portion, I'm going to be separating and sectioning my hair into four parts before applying the mask to my hair. starting with my first section just gonna grab a piece of hair take my demon brush detangle just a bit and then add on the mask I put the mask instead of digging my hand into it I put it on top of the top like that and I'm just gonna apply it to my hair in sections <music> freaking crazy and it's because of me taking off of the frontal and I, the glue that's what I'm blaming it on glue getting stuck to my hair
except for this last little section in the back and I'm almost freaking finished. So I'm going to use a plastic bag. Ooh, I will never do this again. <laughs> Only because I kept burning my freaking hand. But this is how I'm going to do the heat in my deep condition for about 10 to 15 minutes. This was um, really challenging doing this at the same time and trying to watch YouTube videos. Like, I burnt my hand, like, so many times. Was it, was, but it wasn't, like, a really bad burn. It's just, like, you know, it's hot. So, I gave up right then and there. And look at my hair. I wasn't expecting for it to look much like this. But it's, like, mm, it was kind of, like, I don't know how to explain it. It was weird. But I feel like I looked funny. <laughs> it was kind of mad. But it's time to wash it out. And I'm going to be using Shea Moisture's leave-in or rinse-out conditioner. Okay, so I went ahead and washed my hair off camera. Now I'm just going to be adding some Jamaican black castor oil to my hair. And some other oil called Mongoli oil or something like that. I just know it strengthens out my hair. So I added that throughout it as well. section of my hair I did um, pick out each section just a tad to help a little bit so adding the oil and a little drying it out so at this point I'm finally done below drying all of my hair I'm just going through it again with the blow dryer. Let's look at that flow. I got to cut back in December as well before the year started. I got my ends clipped again, but just going through all of it again. At this point, like my arms are really, really tired. <laughs> Sure what to do with my hair, but I'm going to do a puff tutorial. 
stay tuned. So before I do anything, this ball spot is driving me nuts. I need to put more wild hair growth oil in my hair. Definitely for that ball spot because that has to go here. But this actually is working for my hair. So I think you should use it. I will recommend it. Okay, first step to wrap up, you need to pick out your hair. Then you need to get the gel of your choice. I choose Eco Styler and line around the perimeter of your hair with the Eco Styler. You want to use like a generous amount of it. Then you want to get your hard brush and brush up around your hair, all around. Then you want to use your string. Headband is what I use and cut it and pull it all the way. Then tuck. And you have a part. Okay, so here I attempted to do my edges. I used got to be glue and some 24 hour hold. You can see that ball spot like terribly bad. Like this is really crazy. But I cannot even concentrate. Like I'm literally laughing at myself the whole entire time. Like this looks horrible. The puff, the everything. Like I'm literally laughing. Like I can't believe it. But I'm not good at doing edges either, but I still continue to try to do it, but this looks horrible. I ended up like literally just doing it all over. Like after, even after doing it twice, like I tried. It just looks terrible. Okay, so the second time I picked out my hair, I also added more Eco Styler Gel to it. Then I added back my um, cut headband. So what I did, I don't tie it in the front, but I added bobby pins to it to make it feel a little bit more secure. So it's not that tight, but it's just the headband is secure in its spot. Puffed it out a little bit all around. And I um, tried to do my edges over. So this one looks way much better. Much more better. So I did my edges, they look a lot better than before. I slowed down and took my time with this one this time. But this is my puff. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video.